In this video, I'm going to demonstrate Posttrans manipulating Sage Line 50 price list, uh, supplier price list information, or special prices for suppliers. Uh, effectively, we're going to extract the existing supplier database, make some amendments, maybe add some new records, and then import new and change data back into Sage Line 50. Of course, it's worth pointing out Posttrans can also import nominal journals, stock adjustments, invoices, sales quotes, uh, purchase orders, many other things, and help maintain bill of materials and the like. It also is feature rich, which allows us to do in-cell searching and validation, which we'll see demonstrated in the video. This video will cover Sage Line 50, but the same functionality is available for Sage Line 200 also. Let's see the software in action. First, let's explain what we're first going to do. Uh, let's switch over to Sage Line 50. Here we can see our product list. We're on the products and services tab here. I'm going to press the price list button at the top here. And that's all my prices. Now in this video we're interested in the supplier prices. There's another video that covers customers. So it's these individual supplier records here. We have to create those before we can create the list of prices below that heading. So in the first part of the video we're going to manipulate this little list here. And then in the second part we'll change some prices in one of these lists of prices. Okay, switch back to Excel. Here I am in Excel 2013. Uh, Posttrans works, works in all flavors of Excel since 2000. Part of the installation installs a Posttrans toolbar which has another six buttons. First of all, I'm gonna extract the existing data because that's usually the easiest way to start. Now, Posttrans uses cell A1 it places a tag in there which tells Posttrans what the template is all about. Obviously, we're in a completely blank spreadsheet, so therefore it's offering me those tags to create a new template. Let's click on Yes, and now we can see a list of those tags and descriptions on the right. And down here are all the price level pricing tags, and we're interested in the top level of the supplier pricing for a start. So I'm just going to double click on that and you can see there it's now offering me a training video. I'm just going to cancel that. In row cell A1 it's now put in a tag so it knows what the template's all about. It's added a tag for description and here we can have the product code description etc below these headings. Let's again hit the extract button to see the data populated. I've just pressed overwrite all information and you can see there it's pulled some a list through. So there are our supplier codes there, and of course we can designate very easily a new one. We just press space, for instance, or type the start of the code, or some text in there, and we can see all our suppliers there. I'm just going to select Wallace Office Equipment, so that's Wallace Office Equipment, um, and of course we can put in there a description. And the base currency will default to zero anyway. So now I'm just going to import that, and of course if I amended anything on there, it would have been altered. So that was wall 01. So now if we go back to the price list window here, we see our wall 01 been imported. So let's move on and extract some actual pricing information. So we're going to press the extract button, follow the same process as we did before. This time we're not interested in the top level, we're interested in the next level down, which is the actual prices. So we double click on that, cancel the training video. And now we can see we've got a different tag, we've got a different set of tags. Uh, over the right here we have a list of those tags. Uh, if we flick through them there's a slight description. We've also got comments on this here which allows us to see what we're all talking about. I'm just going to hide that because I don't wish to see much more in there. And now let's extract the existing pricing information. Now this would be for all suppliers because I haven't introduced any filtering. And you can see there we've not got a great list. We've basically got a whole selection of special prices set up for Con01. And there we can see the stock codes and their fixed prices. And there's the value that's been set. You can also see in these two columns here... Um, we've brought through the product cost price and sales price just for extra information that we may need while altering these figures. Of course we can add extra columns and put filtration filters and all sorts of things in using the power of Excel. So that information may be useful because it's related to 
to uh, the information we've seen. Uh, so we've just created walls. So now I'm just going to tell show you how easy it is to enter an extra price list information. So I'm going to type in there wall, which has now brought me through the price list we created, the parent record, as it were. Um, let's put in there a BOA, which should bring up all my board white boards. So I'm going to select white boards. It's fixed price. I think in actual fact, if I leave that out, it would set its fixed price. And I'm going to put six pound. So that's now setting the price for that. Um, single item i'm just going to copy down a few more and i'm just going to change that to i'm just going to tab away actually because then we get a list of all our prices if we just press space and tab away and of course using excel i can just copy down so if i was going to copy the structure from a different supplier i can do so very easily um, let's edit some prices and set those up and of course now i simply hit the import button and we've now entered that new data into the sage line 50 database so let's just press extract just to prove it's gone in and there we can see all the entries um, it's worth also pointing out here we do actually have a delete column so if i didn't want some of those prices anymore i can just mark them with an x press import uh, it's just warned me do i want to delete before i did delete and now that's taken out three of the entries so now if i do another extraction we can see now we've got less items course we can use uh, filtration on row two so if I wanted to see all suppliers that had these particular type of whiteboards and I press extract we will now see those price lists I think I've deleted the other one so um, it's just brought this one through so that's how simple it is to manipulate uh, the pricing information this was the actual supplier pricing information if you're watching this video from YouTube to go to our website, simply click on the link in the description below. If you're already on our website, you can scroll down slightly and below this video you'll probably see some related links to associated articles. Let's just show you some of the resources on the website. Switch over, here's the home page. You can see here we have a series of menus at the top and if you allow them to expand, you can see there all the different types of importation or extraction you can use with Post Trans and Sage and also the transactions you can post. Importantly, there's a training section here. If we go to the training section, that describes in detail how to alter a post-trans template using the tags that we briefly discussed in the demonstration. Also on the website is a blog which you can subscribe to, and I thoroughly recommend that, so then you can learn of new functionality and uses of post-trans. Because each of these articles maybe hones in on a particular function, a particular tag, or a particular way of using the product to do a particular um, job. For instance, expanding bill of materials on an order, code searching, protecting templates, importing CSV files, pricing, managing VAT, order currency, you name it, it's all in there. Uh, and that is easily accessible from the software itself. So if I switch back to a template, and this one's an order template, and I've just got the tag window open here on the right but you'll see as I scroll down this one here um, TL description which is the actual product description actually has a blog article so clicking on there takes me to that blog article and explains in great detail the implications of using that tag and the many different options maybe in system setups alters and behavior of that tag so hopefully that will help also we have uh, the help button itself on the button bar, which takes you to kind of a context sensitive help um, and also takes you to the training page, which explains how to manipulate and alter that template. And in addition to all that, of course, we have these blue help buttons here, which are easily accessible. They're also in the setup windows within PostTrans. So again, that takes you to a blog article. For instance, this one's about making the cursor follow a certain path that will then take you to that article and explain how you customize that individual functionality so there i hope you've seen um, many different functions and um, online resources that we provided you to enable you to customize post trans to create a template to uh, help you or your customers so i uh, thank you very much for watching this video